Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to explain corneal tattooing, which can be a good procedure for patients who have a couple different eye problems, maybe if they have corneal scarring or if they have too much glare. Now normally the cornea, like you know, as nice and clear, is the shield that covers over the front of the eye. Uh, but in these certain situations, say if someone has had a severe eye injury and their cornea becomes white and cloudy, and if they lose all of their vision, then for cosmetic reasons, we may want to use corneal tattooing to improve the appearance of the eye to make the person more comfortable about how the eye looks. Other people, if they have a problem with the iris, whether that could be from an injury or from a surgical procedure in the past, they may have areas in the iris, which you know, that's the color part of the eye, that helps block most of the light that's coming into the eye where the light only passes through the pupil in the center. Now if too much light is going in or there's a problem with the iris where there may be an opening or a hole in the iris that shouldn't be there, we can also use corneal tattooing to cover over some of that area on the cornea to block light that's passing through an area where it shouldn't be normally passing through. And this can improve people's problems with glare and can make them more comfortable with their vision. Uh, the way that we use corneal tattooing is pretty similar to how uh, tattoos are placed on the skin. Uh, we can use inks or pigments and we can get lots of different colors if we want to try and match the color of the other eye of the iris uh, or we can get black to simulate the pupil and then using a needle we can drive this pigment into the clear cornea uh, with multiple punctures to get it to stay in the cornea. Now the cornea has some actual thickness. Uh, it's about a millimeter to half a millimeter. And in that actual clear zone is where these pigments go into to help stay there. Now over time some of the pigment can come out or the tattoo can fade some so it may need to be repeated but we can have very good results uh, both for the people who need it for cosmetic reasons with a blind eye or for people who need it for glare. So if you have any questions about corneal tattooing, uh, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on State of Sight.